My name is Emmanuel Guerra, Emmanuel Guerra. Um, my pronouns are he, they. I just received my Master's in, of Fine Arts from the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, in printmaking and book arts. I'm a Latine queer artist who makes work about identity, shared experience, memory, and the self. I feel like who I am right now is someone that is trying to honor the people who have come before me. Yeah, so I'm an artist trying to do all those different things at one time. And I sometimes successful, sometimes I have to go back and rethink it. I've always been someone who's very to themselves, very introspective, and in the art space, it's more um, accessible to be able to share who you are and what you experience in a way that isn't necessarily critiqued in a way that's harmful to the person. At least I haven't experienced that. I don't want to speak for other artists, but in this space, I feel safe to explore these topics and themes of like my history, my family's history. And I feel like in a way, using image and using artwork is allowing me to record these histories that haven't been recorded, where sometimes language and words aren't the proper way of documenting. My favorite medium, and it has been, I would say for, I've, like for since I started, is just drawing. Like I always come back to it because it's what I started with, what I know. Um, I think as like artists and makers, like you always start with drawing. For me, it's the same as like the people who are really invested in journaling, like the writing down of things. And so, coming back to drawings, even if I'm just putting a few lines on paper, it, it recenters me. It grounds me. And there's so much variation in drawing that allows you to explore really anything that you want. It's the, it's the framework around making. When I draw, I usually use graphite. I'm really interested in the, the shiny quality of graphite, especially when you start playing with the softness <laughs> and the hard um, different graphites are always fun to play around with. Yeah, it feels like when I think about memory and dreams, I don't know why when I see a drawing that's just like, soft pencil lines on, on a piece of paper, it just takes me to that space of dream and um, remembering. In my artwork, currently I'm using the dog a lot as a, a symbol or a metaphor in terms of what the dog was in Mexican history. And so it's believed that the dog is a protector and guide through the afterlife. And so it's said that um, once a person has passed on to the afterlife, there's a river and there are dogs, three dogs that are waiting for you. There's a white dog, a black dog, and a yellow dog. The white dog doesn't want to get wet. The black dog doesn't want to get the black removed from its fur. And the yellow dog is the only dog that jumps in to carry you across. And as I was making a, a certain body of work there, I made a bunch of yellow dogs out of glycerin soap. And I didn't know this information before I had made the dog. So when I came across it, it was just a moment of like, oh, like how did I, something in the past has come forward to speak to me now to make this work. And here I am finding this information so that it all comes full circle. And when I make work, I, I feel like I have those experiences a lot where like, oh, like this connects to something that I could even connect to or that I didn't have knowledge of before. And it's those moments that make me feel like, ah, oh, the people that I'm honoring now are pushing me forward still. Um, I'd like to share with the youth that there's always a space for you. Um, I know at times it's hard to feel like you fit in or you notice that there's no one else like you in the space, but there's always somewhere out there. And I know it's unfair to feel like you have to search and feel like you have to find it but it's out there, you just have to keep working. People care, people wanna give back to you. You just have to, to keep on going and keep trying. I'd like to extend a thanks to the community, first and foremost, especially as a person who is not from Milwaukee directly. I have felt very warm and welcome by everyone, and I think that speaks to like the community in itself, its nurturing qualities. I've always felt just accepted never felt out of place. And I'd say to just keep doing what you're doing in that way and making sure that the doors are open for people who, like I shared earlier, who are looking for a safe space and looking for a place of 
equal experience that you just keep providing that that warm place for people to come in and exist. I'd say buy more art from local <laughs> artists. Stop buying posters from Ikea. You can buy your frames, but not the artwork, please. No, but I think real, like on a real side is like trying to invest more in your art community. I think that a lot of times people aren't connected with the art scene and I'm sure it feels exclusive for people who haven't come up with art, but the community is always engaged with everyone. So I think investing in your art community, spending time, whether it's volunteering or working at a place that is art centered. I support WPCA because it is what I wanted as a kid, a space for brown kids to be able to engage with art and to feel supported by, by teachers and by staff that look like them or have the same experiences as them and the same communities as them. I feel privileged now as a adult to be able to engage with this because I, I love when I see the kids who engage with WPCA because I'm like, ah, like I was that once. And it just makes me feel great to know that a place like this exists for young kids. And so that's why I support WPCA. My artwork comes from a very personal place, a place that has taken a lot of time to feel comfortable with sharing. And I invite people to ask me questions about the experiences, about the histories that I'm engaging with. I feel very privileged to be in this space to be able to make the artwork that I do. And so that's why I feel so open about sharing. I believe the transparency is what pushes my work forward, is it's those moments that allow people to connect with me and to connect with the artwork itself. You can follow me on Instagram at eeguerra, G-U-E-R-R-A. That's my Instagram and my website is the same, um, eeguerra.com. Uh, yeah, just follow me ever. Feel free to send me a message, chit chat. It's always perfectly okay.